hiyo ya mfumo wa vitambulisho vya kidijitali na maisha namba kutekelezwa nchini kabla ya kuzunduliwa rasmi afla ya leo iliongozwa na katibu mkuu wa uhamiaji wa huduma kwa raia Julius Bitok Grace Kuria Kanja na maelezo zaidi Sasa sikiliza kuanzia leo Novemba tarehe moja, ikiwa utawasilisha maombi ya kitambulisho kwa mara ya kwanza pengine wale wa Gen Z utapewa maisha card Sawia na wewe ambaye unatafuta mbadala wa kadi iliyoharibika au kupotea. Hizi ni katika jitihada za kudadisi ikiwa nchi ii tayari kuchapishaji kamili wa vitambulisho vya kidijitali. One of the things that we believe will go is vetting for IDs. This will really create a lot of inclusivity because there are people in this country who feel they've been marginalized for one reason or another. Particularly in the border counties who are required to come vet to queue to to appear to appear before the DCCs around the country there will be efficiency because you don't have to carry your id so you can actually transact quickly with your uh, digital id ili kuimarisha usalama na kupunguza hatari ya kugushi maisha card inasemekana kuwa na chipu ya kielektroniki yenye data iliyowekwa kwa njia fiche pia itakuwa na vipengele vinavyounga mkono uundaji wa kitambulisho pepe kitakachojulikana kama maisha digital ID The current ID as we say and uh, as you are aware is uh, 28 years old so even in terms of security uh, there is need to improve because things have really changed from that time Watoto waliozaliwa pia watapewa maisha namba ya kutumia katika vyeti vyao vya kuzaliwa na huduma za serikali zinazofuata ikiwa ni pamoja na uandikishaji shule na huduma za afya Sasa nambari hiyo hiyo itatafsiriwa kuwa nambari yao ya maisha card baada ya kufikisha miaka kumi na minane. Kitambulisho cha maisha namba Maisha card na Maisha Digital ID vitaunganishwa katika sajili ya hifadhi data ili kusitisha usaili wa utoaji wa vitambulisho. Grace Kuria Kanja TV 47. Na tukiachana na taarifa yake Grace Kuria Kanja